Welcome to our educational channel Secrets of Mental Math. So in this series, this is the last chapter. So I want to give some uh, basic puzzles and some tricks. This is mathematical magic. So few concepts I want to say. Let us see one. So think of a number tricks. So for example, if a number choose a number and double that, add some. So such type of questions. What is the tricks and how to follow? And one of the magic number 1089. So the specialty of this number and what is the logic behind this I'll explain. And missing digit tricks, how to construct a magic square, any square, 4 by 4 or 3 by 3, how to construct the magic square, I'll explain. And quick cube root, if any number is given, how to find out the cube root of that number, even if it's a 3 digit or 6 digit number. And one, an amazing sum. So this also one of the puzzle. So these are the concepts so I will explain in this chapter. Now this is the last one. So you will see only some basic magic type. So to entertain the students or we can learn some important or simple concepts also from this. So let us see one by one. First we will see how to think the number and what is the puzzle behind this. Think of a number tricks. So in most general we will see uh, many people will ask to think for number and do some mathematical operations and they'll try to say the original number and what you are thinking that number also they can say. So one of the example I'll show and how to solve such type of tricks not only this one. So one example I'll show here. These five steps you need to follow. Okay, first one think any number. So let the uh, audience to make or the students let them think any number but not not reveal that. So let them think any one number either one digit two digit any number let them think and double the number. Okay, let us take one example. Think any number. Okay, if I say 8, any number we can think. Okay, in this, let me take one number is x. Next, you double the number. So, whatever it is, we should double this. So, we need to 2 into 8. So, 16. Add 12 to it. For this, I need to add 12. So, this number they won't say just you can do the operations according to the conditions they will do and double the number is 16 then add 12 to it 16 plus 12 okay it's a 28 divide the total by 2 so 28 is the total that should divide by 2 it's a 14 subtract the original number original number is 8 okay 14 minus 8 is equals to 6 Okay, so then they will say the final number. So always you will get 6 in this case. So some type of questions they will say the original number. Some type of they will think what you got the final. So let them think any one number and do this process. Finally I got the 6. See here the questions or whatever it is you convert into linear equations. Like uh, some variable. So instead of the numbers. If you take the variable why you are getting always 6 you will notice. This not only 8, if you take uh, uh, some 24 and do this process, you will get again 6 only. Not only any number you can choose and if you do these operations, you finally will get number 6 is always. So let us see how it works. Mm, so think of a number. So what I am taking, this time I am taking is so x. Double the number. So let it be, is it 2x. Okay. In the place of 8, this time I am taking x and double the number is 2x. Add 12 to it. 2x plus 12. 2x plus 12 it is uh, not 14x because 2x is a variable term. It is a constant. 2x plus 12 up to here. Divide the total by 2. So 2x plus 12 divided by 2. Then if you do this becomes 2x divided by 2 plus 12 divided by 2. So x plus 6 right and subtract the original number okay we got x plus 6 from this subtract is the original number original number is x x i am going to subtract plus x minus x cancel we got 6 only right so any number you can take and do this you will get only the final 6 okay such type of uh, any tricks are there you can make into the variable and do then you can understand the main process so not only the puzzle, this time I am going to see the revealing, how to reveal those type of puzzles to our normal in mathematical sentence, convert it to mathematical sentence and do it. So same 6 only will get. So if you take x in the place of x, any number you take, 6 only will get. 
So this in this way we can make we can change the questions also. If your audience are guessing the your logic, then you can change. Instead of adding 12, you can add 14. So according to that, how will it change? That answer you can remember and tell them. So we can make your own questions also. We can reveal the solutions in any way. We can make the questions also just by using making into converting into some linear equations or mathematical equations. The sentence you are converting to mathematical equations. By simplifying, we'll notice and we can change the questions also. Okay, in this way, we can do some this, this type of tricks. Okay, let us see one more type of trick now with some other number. The magic number 1089. So I want to give some logic behind this number by following these three steps and let me show how it works also. First of all, uh, let, you can give to the students, secretly write them to write one three digit number where the digits are decreasing. So let them write any three digit number but let, let us should be decreasing, or, decreasing in order. Okay, for example, 851. Yeah, this is a three digit number and let us are decreasing in order. Not only this, you can take for example 973. Okay, three examples. Let me show this. And next, reverse the number and subtract it from the first number. Reverse this. 851, right? Just you can do reverse. So 158. Uh, this is 379. This is the second step. This is all without showing us. Okay, let them write any three digit number and in decreasing order. Let us should be decreasing order and reverse the number and subtract. So after subtracting this, take the answer and add it to the reverse of itself. You can subtract this first. Whatever the subtraction you get? 851, 158. 11 minus 8 is 3, 9, and 6. 7 minus 1. 693. Then take this answer, add to it by reversing itself. 693. Just you can reverse this. 396 and add. Then if you add, what will get? 693 plus 396. So 8. So it's a 9. 9 plus 9 is 18 and 10. 1089 will get. Not only this, any number you can take, reverse this and subtract first. 973 minus 379. Okay, so 4, 7, so 9, carry and 5, 4, 7, 9, carry, and 5. Subtracting, after subtracting, just you can do the reverse and add to this previous. This is 495 you can add. And again you get 1089. So any three digit number you can take. Just reverse that and subtract. Again reverse that and add to the answer. You will get 1089. Okay. You see how it works. How it is coming exactly. If you notice any three digit number in decreasing order. If you reverse and subtract. The sum of the digits is multiple of 3. Even 693 or 594. This is the 99 multiple. 99 times table. Then you can do reverse also the same as this. Okay, this is a multiple of 9, multiple of 9. So reverse will get even 1080 also is a multiple of 9. 99 into 11 will get. 99 into 11, so 11 times. So because this one is a 6 times, this one is 1 more is 5 times. So it's a multiple of 99. So answer also the same way we'll get. Not only these two, any number you can take, let them do. Just you can show this answer in uh, magically. So 1089. So this is one of the trick. And using this 1089 only, one more concept I want to say. So some, there is a missing digit trick. That is interesting. The same 1089. Let me show you one more uh, logic. A missing digit trick now. Missing digit tricks. Here I want to show one interesting uh, puzzle that we can give the concept of some multiples of nine also this. So here is using 1089. The number is 1089. From the last effect, same we did in our previous. So this number, you can hand over any volunteer calculator to two students. You can give them calculator. Ask them to multiply this number with any three digit number. So 1089. Let them multiply this with any uh, three digit number. Okay, for example, let me take 256. So instead of on the paper, okay, either paper or calculator, let them do without showing us. Without showing to us. Take this number, let them apply with any 3 digit number. 
okay this one if i use calculator just we got 278784 okay so what we'll get is a six digit seven digit some number will come now the question is so call out any uh, if you ask them how many number of digits first of all so they will say you know, six digits right answer the solution is just ask them how many digits this is some total answer so they will say six digits you ask them to say any five digits from this six you ask them say any five digits from this then we can say what is the sixth digit there is a logic i'll show here let them say any five digit among the six we can say surely what is the next the missing digit that's called missing digit trick here is the trick is 1089 is the multiple of 9 1 plus 8 9 9 plus 9 is 18 18 again you can add 1 plus 8 is 9 so 1089 is multiple of 9 then if you multiply with any number even that answer also is multiple of 9 so this also multiple of 9 just you can do normal addition 2 plus 7 plus 8 plus 7 plus 8 plus 4 Add this, and again you can add to make it single digit. What will get you? You can notice. Two seven is nine plus eight. Nine plus eight, seventeen. Again, seventeen plus seven. Okay, twenty-three. Again, thirty-one. And this total. Okay, thirty-five, thirty-six. So now randomly you can add this. Two seven eight, seven eight four. Okay, out of this six. Any five digits if they'll say we can say the six digit. Okay, even you can write it also. You can add same will get right. So twelve, nineteen, and twenty-seven plus nine. So thirty-six. We can add this three plus six. We'll get nine. So always we'll get the single digit is nine. In case okay, they said among these six only if, say for five digits. Uh, they said one, two, three, four. Mm, let's say five. These five digits they said open. Now we can say what is the sixth digit. Okay, or else. Okay, now these five. One, two, three. Out of the six, randomly, any five they say we can say sixth one. Okay, can add this. Seven plus eight plus seven plus eight plus four. Seven, eight, fifteen, thirty, thirty-four. You got. Okay, whatever they are saying, you can in mind you can add roughly. Seven plus eight. Plus seven plus eight plus four. Now this is thirty-four. Three plus four is seven. So the how much number is less than nine? That is the missing digit. So nine minus seven is equal to two. Surely any number one thousand eight nine. If you multiply any number, not only three digit. Any number if you multiply that sum, the digits if you add again can react till get nine only because this is a multiple of nine. So compulsory will go in nine times table. So which number is missed? That we can guess. Remaining numbers you can add. Again you can re-add to get the single digit. Compared to nine, how much less? That is only our uh, sixth digit. Okay, except to these seven, if you add remaining also, you get same. Okay, so this is the missing digit trick. Not only one thousand eight nine. Any multiple of nine, we can multiply with any other number. Surely that we can trick we can follow. So the special day one thousand eight nine just I took. We can take any other numbers also, and we can change the questions also in different way. Okay, this is one of the trick. And next, I'll show what is the magic square and how to construct, and let us see some more tricks in this. How to construct a magic square? So I'm explaining here four by four, four rows and four columns magic square. Three by three already have done in some of the previous videos, and let us see four by four. So here is a total four rows, four columns, right? So one to sixteen. I need to use one to sixteen numbers. I should not repeat one to sixteen. I should use. Then I will make the every row and every column, some of the rows and some of the columns, and even some of in the diagonal. There are two diagonals. If I add that all the numbers, some should be equal to thirty-four. So this uh, making of this uh, or presenting equal to thirty-four also I have done. But using this magic square, how to prepare if any other numbers required? Okay, for example, if I want some should be some 67. Every row and every column, I need exactly 67. How to do? Okay, first when it is equal to 34, we have the 
rules here. One, two, three, and four. You can see the number positions. This you can remember. Then this making also I have done some other videos that you can go through. But you can remember this to make any other magic squares four by four with any sum of the number is required. And one, two, three, four. Okay. So every row, every column is not matched with first four numbers. Similarly with 5, 6, 7, 8, the corner. Okay, let us see next another type. 8, again 9, 10, 11, 12. First 12. Okay, again if you see, uh, 13. 14, 15, and this 16. Okay, so this is a 4 by 4 magic square. Every row, some of the rows and some of the columns, even some of the numbers in the diagonal also equal to 34. Even this first two square, first two by two, 8, 11, 13 plus 2 also 34. And next to 4, 14 plus 1 plus 12 plus 7 also 34. And every 2 by 2 also with inside, even middle 2 also equal to 34. This is a specialty of this. But I am not saying about all these things. Now, how to prepare any number required more than 34, not less than 34. With uh, any number, sum if I want more than 34, how to prepare another magic square? Okay, more than 34. For example, I need to make uh, some of the rows and columns, even diagonal, like a 2 by 2 uh, square. Even any 2 by 2 if you take, that should be equal to 67 if you want. Using this, using this uh, magic square, I will explain this. First of all, which number we require? Now we need 67, right? Okay, so what we should do? Take uh, 67 and subtract this number, 34. From 67, subtract this number. 67 minus 34. Okay, that is 33. Take this 33 and divide by 4. We need to make into 4 equal parts. Mm, so what will get? 33 divided by 4. So 4 8s so 32. What one is remainder? 8. And remainder is 1. Okay, or else if you do like normal division type, mm, 33 divided by 4. 4 into 8. Okay, it's a 32 and remainder is 1. So, okay, don't go for decimals. So, quotient is a 8. Here is a quotient is 8 and remainder is 1. So, we need to, for every number, we need to add 8. Number 8 we should add for all the digits. Previous we have 8 is there. Okay, that means here is the rule also. We need to add 8. What is the quotient? What will the quotient? To all. All means that is only numbers from 1 to 12. Okay, that is only number 1 to 12. We need to add 8 and add 8 plus a quotient plus reminder. To all 13, 14, 15, 16. Last 4. Okay, 13, 14, 15, 16. You can add 9. Exactly it will make into 67. Right? You see this. Okay, here is a 1. 1 plus 8 is 9. Okay, the green one. This is a 9. Again, in the place, same place. 2 place. Mm, so, plus 8. 10. In the place of 3, 3 plus 8 is 11. In the place of 4, 4 plus 8 is 12. So up to 1 to 12, within from this box, 1 to 12, you can add the quotient. And for the rest of the last 4, along with the quotient, remainder should add. If the remainder is 0, only quotient we can add for all. That's simple. Okay. And next, similarly, uh, four, uh, 5, 6, 7, 8. In the place of 5, 5 plus 8 is 13 and it's 14 
15, 16. The same colors I am taking instead of confusing. Uh, next, uh, 11 plus 8. Okay, it's 19. Right? 20, 12 plus 8. And 20, next followed by. Okay, 20, 12, no? Next to 13. Okay, so 1, 3. 11, 12. Only okay, 9, 10, 11, 12 is over. Next to 13, right? So 13 is last 4. 11, 12, even 10 also we missed here. So 10 plus 8, 18. Okay, sorry, 18 didn't take. And in this 17, 9 plus 8. Yeah, this is for 9, 10, 11, 12. So 17, 18, 19, 20. Next for last 4, we need to add plus 9. Plus 9 you can add. So that is in the place of 13. 13 plus 9. Okay, 22. Next same. 23, 24 and 25. This is, okay, whatever number we need as the sum, we can arrange the magic to it. There is a specialty of this. But this is the base one, base project. From this base uh, table, we can take whatever you want. You can remember the remainder is 0. So you can add the same quotient for all. Any other than 0, if any other remainder. For the last 4 numbers, like for 13, 14, 15, 16, add including quotient plus remainder, you can add for remainder. So you can try like any 4 by 4 magic square, you can prepare according to lucky number. If you want 100, 100 minus 34 you take, according to that you can divide with 4, then you can, according to that you can arrange. Okay, this is a specialty constructing any magic square. It's only one example I'm sh showing you. You can make your own like remaining. Right? And next we'll see some shortcut tricks on cube roots also. Quick cube root trick. So here I will show if any person selected one two digit number and let them keep as secret. And if you find out the cube of that number, that means we know how to find out the cube of the number. We should multiply the same number by twice, two times. Okay, for example, 68. So, cube of the 68 is 68 to the power 3. So, 68, we should multiply 3 times. Right? Okay, if you use the calculator, let them use the calculator. Okay, if I multiply this, you got 3, 1, 4, 4, 3, 2. If anyone said this number, 314,432 or 3,14,432. If they said this number, we can say directly the cube root of this number is 68. We can say what is 68, 68 also directly. So let me explain how to find out cube root of any number. The two are two digits. Okay, two digit number. Let us see first of all. To say that we need to remember up to 10 cubes. First single digit cubes, let us remember. Okay, we know that 1 cube is 1. Right? 2 cube. 2 into 2 into 2. 8 3 cube is 27 and 4 cube 64 only up to single digit cubes you must remember then it's very easy trick 5 cube 125 6 cube 216 6 into 6 is 36 into 6 216 and 7 cube 343 Okay, 8 cube, 512, 9 cube, 729 and 10 cube is symbol. This 10 into 10 into 10, that is 1000. Just you have to perfect just above this. So up to here, the basic cubes of uh, single digit cubes you need to remember. Now if the anyone said what well, there is a number 3,14,432, what is the cube root of this? Only for the perfect cube roots only we can say. Right? Now this is the number. We can make into for hundreds place and remaining part. So hundreds place is 432 and the rest of thousands part is 314. Okay, now 314. Just observe from the we know already this. We ought to remember. 314 between which cube root you can observe. You can see that 
between 6 and 7. Okay, 6 cube is 216, 7 cube is 343. So between this, so that is 6 cube. So between 6 cube and 7 cube is this. Okay, from this you just you can take only the starting number 6. And next 432. In 432, the units digit is 2. Once observed, only the units place. Units place is 2. 2 is for which cube root you are getting. Okay, 2 is for 8 cube. 8, right? Just you can 8. Yes, 68 is the answer. Simple. Let me take another example. Okay, for example, somebody gave the number. Okay, 19,683. Okay, ask the question, what is the cube root of this? It's a perfect cube root. It's a perfect cube. So, what is the cube root of this? Okay, what we have to do? First, you should see only the thousands part. 19. Okay, 683 is hundreds the part. And thousandth part is 19,000. Okay, this 19 between which cube roots? 8 and 27, right? Between 8 and 27 means between 2 cube and 3 cube. Between 2 cube and 3 cube means from this we should take only the starting. 2 only we should take. And last is 3. 3 is for which cube? 3 is only 1. Because there is no repeating, we can observe also. 3 is for 7 cube. End number. Units place is 3. Only for 7 cube, 7. So 27. 27 cube is 19,683. And this uh, units digit also you can remember easily. For 1 is 1 only. Some are same if you notice. For 4, it's 4. 5 cube, units place is 5. 6 cube, units place is 6. And 9 cube, units place is 9. And 1 cube, units place is 1. All are, okay, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And 10 cube also, units place is 0 only. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 are same. Other 2 if you observe, these both. And another 2 cube is 8 and 8 cube is 2 we are getting you can observe once for 2 cube units place is 8 and 8 cube units place is 2 okay for 2 and 8 on relation and next uh, 4 uh, here is 7 cube is units place is 3 and 3 cube units place is 7 if you observe okay 3 and 7 is one relation just you can remember remaining all are same so just one uh, single digit cube you can keep in mind and remember we can find out the cube root of any uh, two digit number. This is only trick for especially two digit. We can give the um, surprise to the audience when they are using calculator and they will say by observing, by seeing the number only, just we can guess and say directly. Okay, this is the simple trick I am showing here. Next, let me show an, another important trick uh, based on the additions on some amazing sum. I will show one trick now. An amazing sum. I will show an interesting a math trick. There are three sets. Set A, set B, set C. In set A, I just, there are nine numbers. Every number is four digit number. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. I will tell the logic later. First you can see the question here. Set A, set B, set C. Every set there are nine numbers, the four digit number. So you can call from the audience. Especially we can give this uh, trick to the students or some audience in a group meeting. You can call any three of them, any three students, let them select any one of the number from every set. This is the first thing. Okay, for example, from set A, one person selected first number. 4286, let it be. And set B, 5792. Any number out of this nine, anything we can select. And set C, okay, let me take second one. Yeah, not only first or second, out of this nine, from every set, let them select any one of the number. Just their wish. Right? And I am keeping writing one number here. So, before that, what we will do? Just take uh, 2247. Why I am taking this number, I will tell you. So, take write this number on the paper and just fold it. And give to somebody and just wait. So, I can call three students. Just to select any one of the number among this uh, every set okay set a b c and ask them to say <coughs> one one digit from every set okay say uh, a b c so from set a the one person selected now this four two eight six 
let them let him say any one of the digit among this four any one of the digit okay among that four any one of the digit let us take a b c okay for example from this 4 to 8 7 8 6 let's say 8 uh, is said one number that is 8 and from set b let him say any one of the digit among this four any one 5 7 9 2 no okay for example he said 9 and from the c set 5 4 3 5 any one of the number he said 5 so first a from 4 to 8 6 he said 8 and next from the remaining 3 let him say any other number so out of this 4, any order let him say 1 by 1. Okay, next to a person said 4. Among this 4 only, if he said 8, next time he should say any other number from the remaining 3 like that. And he said about okay 5 and he said 3. Okay, 5, 4, 3, 5. If the 5 is repeated, let him say 2 times. Next he took um, 2. And let's say B again he said also 2. Okay, from 5, 7, 9, 2. 9 is over, 5 is over, next to 2 and 7. No? So, he said 2, 4. So, random name taking. Next, A, the remaining, sir, uh, remaining is 6. And his remaining is 7. And remaining is 5. Right? Now, just uh, 2 to 4, 7, I said, right? You can add this number. Just you can, there is an important trick. Just you can keep line. This number like 895, 453. 224 675 add this number 7 4 and carry 2 2 2247 will come show that any number let them choose any one of the number among this line let them say any order you will get again 2247 then you can give them paper and let them check this both you will surprise this uh, paper whatever wrote answer this exactly gets same right not only these three any three let them choose and let them say in order any order among these numbers one by one you can count and that will come exactly 2247 it's very interesting right i would want to say the solution also means why this uh, logic works i'd like to say just listen the all the thing is in this concept is within the numbers you can add the numbers 4, 2, 8, 6. 4 plus 2, 6. 6 plus 8, 14. Plus 6, 20. The total is 20. Some of the digits in every number is 20 in the set A. You can notice one. Similarly, in set B, I arrange the numbers. The total is 23. 7, 5, 4, 7. You can add the digits. 23 will come. 3, 2, 9, 9. 23 will get. Not only this set A, B, C, any type of sets you can, you can prepare, the digits must be same number. Some of the digits should be same. And here set C, uh, total is 17 I got. Okay, now they will say numbers, right? 8426, 4286 or 8426, however you can add, we will get the same. Set C is selected one of the number and is set in randomly one by one. Okay, 5435, 5, 4, 3, 5. What will get if you add this total? Observatory you will get 17. 17 means 1 is here and carry 17. Next set B, what will get? Surely you will get 23. Right? 23 plus 1, 24. 2 and 4. Surely set 8, the total is 20 will come. Right? 20 plus 2, 22. Absolutely. 2247. In case if you reveal, you can change again this. Instead of 20, you can make out of 19 also. You can arrange. Not only 9, more than 9 number also. You can arrange. So, this is the trick we can follow. The concept is just based on the number sum. There's only thing. I hope the logic is clear for you. Right? These are the logics and tricks I am giving from this. Hope you understood everything. This is the secret of uh, mental math. And you can follow the series in order. It will be very helpful for you. I hope you understood everything, everything, everything is very clear and especially the complete, if you want information, you can learn and subscribe the channel for the more information and you can, uh, it can be updated, we will update all the information, whatever we have, so you can learn from this, all the things.